Heading into this draft, everybody knew going in that the Ravens did not have a second round pick. But it wasn't looked at as a bad thing because that second round pick that they were missing, uh, it was actually used last season to acquire Roquan Smith, who certainly from jump, he made a huge impact on these Baltimore Ravens. And they signed him to that five-year, $100 million deal. So I would say that second round pick went to good use. And Eric DaCosta, he let it be known like during this draft, like, oh, we got a second round pick, but it's Roquan. So no problems with the way that that has been used. But me, ever since they traded for Roquan Smith, the day that they did, and every day after that, we brought it up a lot of times that we just feel like that spelled the end of everything for Patrick Queen with the Baltimore Ravens. Didn't anticipate him being a Baltimore Raven beyond uh, last season. Uh, and Eric DaCosta, every time they've been asked about Patrick Queen and the status, they've been very, like, hush-hush about it. Um, they haven't given straightforward answers every time they get asked about the fifth-year option, which is due in literally a couple of days. Um, whether they're going to pick it up or decline it, they haven't answered the question straight up. And, of course, even if they answered it straight up, seeing would be believing. But we'll just have to see when we get there. But now, with this draft pick, with them drafting uh, Trenton Simpson, this, to me, is another indicator that Patrick Queen is gone. It's another indicator. Um, and, and we're not trying to pit the two against each other, anything like that. It's nothing like that, but it's just the business. And Patrick Queen, a, a couple of minutes after Trenton Simpson was drafted, Patrick Qu Queen said, sheesh. So he knows the game. And look, I, I would love, I would love, 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 love if Ravens kept Roquan Smith. If they kept Patrick Queen, and of course we know they're going to keep Trenton Simpson, but if they could keep all three together, and ooh, and I know all three wouldn't be on the field at the same time at all times, but still to have all that depth, that quality depth, and those options would be lovely. But I just don't see it happening. But we'll see how things go. But anyway, um, the Ravens, with their third round pick uh, in the draft last night, they selected inside linebacker Trenton Simpson. Like, y'all know that I don't watch college, so what I had to do was watch film on him to see exactly, okay, what kind of inside linebacker is this? So while I was watching, I'm like, hold up. I, I thought they said that he was an inside linebacker. Like, for, from jump, I said, well, no, 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 no. We got to put an asterisk next to him being an inside linebacker because he's not just an inside linebacker. This dude was literally everywhere on the field, I think, except outside corner. Except, I, that, that, like, that was the only place that I did not see him play at. This dude was an inside linebacker. He was an outside linebacker. He was on the edge. He was in the box. He was at slot corner. He, he was literally everywhere. So this dude is, I, I guess if, 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 if they, I guess they needed to throw something on him. Like, all right, what are you going to be? What, what, what's your position going to be? Because you can't just say defense. You got you to label it with something. So he was just like, oh, okay, let's pick one. Oh, he probably picked this position out of a hat. One day, it was like, ah, uh, any, many, money mo, I'll take this paper. Oh, it said inside linebacker. Okay, cool. We'll roll with that. But when I watch him, he does so many different things. So many different things. And when I was watching a film on this guy, on, on Trenton Simpson, it looks like to me, it looks like he plays football like so happy and excited. It looks like underneath his helmet that he just got a big grin on his face the whole time while he's playing. Because just the way that he moves – He's just so loose. He, he just so like when, when he sees where, who, where, who the ball carrier is, whether it was the quarterback, the running back, receiver, whoever it may be, when he sees who got that ball, he's like a missile, man, because he'll shoot, shoot. So the, 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 explos the explosiveness is there, and that's something that the Ravens, they could continue to use. They had that explosiveness in Patrick Queen, but, again, I, I, I just I don't think that he's going to – be here for much too longer but hey we'll see we'll see we won't know till we know but anyway um I saw him like again he was because at first when I was watching him I saw some plays from him at inside linebacker I'm like okay but then like a couple plays later I see this dude down the field covering I'm like okay then I see him on the edge rushing the passer I'm like okay then I see him on the edge playing contain I'm like okay then I see him in the box playing zone I'm like Okay, he does everything. And I know a lot of people like to want to play a comps. 
They like doing NFL play. Like, okay, what, what, what NFL player does this guy remind you of? That guy reminds you of. For me, uh, for Trenton Simpson, he reminds me of Javon Holland. Javon Holland would be my player comp for Trenton Simpson. Because Javon Holland, I think he's listed as a safety, I think. But he plays literally everywhere. Everywhere. So a lot of the same traits and features and whatnot and characteristics that I see and love. Like Javon Holland on the Miami Dolphins, that's one of my favorite players, man. Javon Holland. But everything that I see from him, that it, it, Trent Simpson reminded me of that. Because, again, everywhere. When he tackles you, <laughs> he going to make you feel it, man. He, he going to make you feel it. We talked about how um, earlier it looks like he's just playing with a smile on his face. But it's not necessarily a happy-go-lucky smile. It's sort of like a, uh, that Heinz Ward type of smile. To where, hey, under the, underneath that helmet, it's going to be a friendly face. But on the field, <laughs> ain't nothing friendly about it, my friend. Ain't nothing friendly about it. He will whack you. He will hit you. He will knock you out. And then, you know, my, my favorite part about it, all, I've I seen some different plays where he was running his mouth. He was, he was talking to his trash. I said, oh, okay, now, all right, hey, Ravens need, they need a little more of that. They need a little more of that, that confidence, that, that trash talk and whatnot. Again, N MP, MP ain't back, at least not yet. So they lost a big part of that. But so we, we're going to need some more, like, just attitude in general. But um, I, I am uh, looking forward to seeing how uh, Mike McDonald uses him. Um, because when you got somebody that can do so many different things, when you got somebody that can play in so many different positions, you, you got to use them the right way. And, and you, can't just, you can't just put them in a box. You can't just put them in a box and be like, all right, this is what you're going to. No, you're going to have to move that guy around. You, you got a player that you can be extremely creative with. So when you have that, you got to be smart. You got to be smart. And, but with him, he allows you to sort of uh, disguise your defense. Since you can move him around and have him doing so many different things, an offense may see number 20. Well, he's probably not going to wear 22. But an offense will see Simpson, and they may see him lining up at slot corner. I'm like, all right, okay. But then he, he might be blitzing you because we did see him do a lot of that. He did a lot of blitzing from that slot corner position. We may see they, the Dolphins may see him line up uh, at, on the edge. Like, oh, okay, here goes a rusher. But then he may drop back. So it's, it's so many different things that you can do with this guy. So that's, uh, that should be fun to see. It should be fun to see as long as they use him the right way. And it's another player comp kind of would be maybe my, nah, not even Micah Parsons, but most of Javon Holland. Because with Micah Parsons, they do a lot of that same stuff. They, they have him moving around at all these different places. But I, I would say more so maybe a mix of uh, Javon Holland and Micah Parsons, but more so Javon Holland. Because, again, he's, he's everywhere, man. He is literally everywhere. And what he reminded me of – um, the way that he was doing like all these different things uh, was a player on the Ravens last year who was also a rookie. He was drafted to be in one position, but they had him doing something different, but he excelled at it, and he excelled at quite a bunch of different things. That guy was Kyle Hamilton. Kyle Hamilton was obviously, uh, he's a safety, um, but you didn't see him drop back too often. You saw him in the box a lot. You saw him playing slot corner a lot. You saw him rushing a passer a lot. And I remember so many times, we, we joked about it on here, but behind a lot of jokes, there's some truth. A lot of times last year, we said for Kyle Hamilton, we said, man, this dude, he might be the best pass rusher on the Ravens. Because when they use him as a pass rusher, this dude, like, he did his thing. And he obviously did his thing as a slot corner uh, as well. But that, like... I see a lot of what Kyle Hamilton did as what Trent Simpson could do for the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, he is an inside linebacker. I'm sure they're going to use him there a lot, but he's a lot more than that. Kyle Hamilton is technically a safety, and I'm sure they're going to use him there, but he's a lot more than that. 
And then I wonder too, um, with Kyle Hamilton now, uh, with, with, with Chuck with Chuck Clark, with them trading him to the Jets. And a lot of times I forget about that trade. But with the Ravens trading him to the Jets, it's like, all right, hey, Chuck Clark will be dropped back a lot. He'll be in the box a lot too, but he'll he'll be dropped back a significant amount of times. Is Kyle Hamilton gonna be put in that role now? Is he gonna be dropped back a lot more now? And if so, who's going to take his spot? Who's going to take his position as far as what he did last year? Because the thinking is, it's like, man, and it's tough. It, Ravens in a tough spot because my thinking would be like, man, Kyle Hamilton did really good in his role last year. Early on in the season, it was looking a little shaky. But again, he was a rookie. He's a rookie. But as the season continued, he got better and better and better and better and better. He was making plays. It was like, oh, man, this dude pretty good. So, what do you do now? Do you are you like all right, Kyle Hamilton? You're gonna be dropping back more. Not saying that he can't do it, cause he probably he probably could. But what do you do now? Do you move him from his position that he was at last year that he excelled at at the end, and have him do something different? Or I mean, you could. You got options though. That's the point. You got options. So with Trent Simpson, he gives you. <laughs> this, dude, <laughs> this dude gives you a lot of options for what you could do with him. So it, it's gonna be exciting to see. Uh, how he goes to work, man. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but anyway, um, appreciate y'all watching. Got to give a special shout out to the newest team, Keep It Clean patron, my guy Robert D. Uh, appreciate you becoming a patron. Appreciate all the patrons. Appreciate all the channel members because y'all uh, are just stepping out of your way um, to show extra support for the channel. Uh, if any of y'all y'all would like to become a team, Keep It Clean pat patron, you can go to patreon.com slash engravingvids. Uh, and if you don't want to, that, that's okay. <laughs> it's all good. I, I still love y'all regardless. Um, if you want to become a channel member, you can click the join button on the channel. Um, so I, I just appreciate y'all, man, because y'all y'all been showing a crazy amount of support. Uh, we are approaching. And see, I don't like doing this because every time I say it, then everything like slows down like crazy. But we are approaching sixty six thousand subscribers. So still crazy, man. That's 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 crazy. That's that that's 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 crazy. It's a lot of crazy people out there that decide to subscribe subscribe to this channel. Yeah, you got to be insane to do that. But. I love the insanity that y'all bring. So I appreciate y'all. Trenton Simpson, welcome to the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, shout out to you. Shout out to your whole family. Um, and and I, I hope he goes off, man. I hope he goes off. I know a lot of people are sort of uh, scratching their head uh, at this draft pick. Um, I see a lot of uh, dialogue uh, on Twitter about it. Some people loved it. Some people didn't love it. Uh, but I hope he just does, goes and does his thing. But again, like I said, I think for me, it just, it just reiterates the fact that I, I just don't see Patrick Queen being here. Um, I, and I think Pat, Patrick Queen knows that, too. He, he knows the business and whatnot. He sees it. Um, so we'll see what happens with him, though. But anyway, I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And, oh, man, I feel for him, though, man, because he, he was coming to his own. But I just feel like, just, just like I feel like Patrick Queen is probably going to be uh, over the next couple of days when it comes to being with the Baltimore Ravens, I'm out.